in any city, in any country. Go to any mental institution or halfway house you can get yourself to. When you reach the front desk, ask with no hesitation to visit someone who calls themselves the Holder of Damnation. The clerk will frightfully deny any knowledge of such a thing, but will covertly slip you a toothless key with a glyph engraved upon it and point you down a certain hallway. At the end of this hallway is a perfectly nondescript door, but for the doorknob. It is made of a stone that is blacker than the deadest night, and, should you touch it, you will feel as if your very soul is being drained away. Upon entering the door, you will be in a brightly lit hallway. The walls are lined with drawings, drawn in the style of a child, depicting the dreams of such a child. Do not look at these pictures, for their pleasant appearance is merely a façade, hiding their true nature. Should you gaze upon them, they will surely be the last thing you will ever see, for your eyes will be the first to go. The ceiling of this hallway drips blood. If you were to look up, and believe me, this is something you do not want to do, you would see the disemboweled corpses of hundreds, nay, thousands of children, impaled to the ceiling on their own bones. Should you reach the end of the hallway, you will find a massive iron door. At eye level, there will be a small sliding plate. Take the key that was given to you earlier, and hold the toothless part in your hand, with the glyph uncovered and pointing directly at the plate. Close your eyes and give one sharp knock on the plate. You will hear it slide back. Resist any temptation to look, for it will be the end of you. Wait ten seconds. Count them off carefully. If the key does not change, run. Run as fast as you can and only stop when your legs can go no farther. If you feel the key change, however, wait until you hear the plate slide back into place and open your eyes. In its place will be a massive padlock. Unlock it with your newly changed key and quickly enter the room, closing the door behind you. The holder of damnation despises the light. You will be in a dark room. There is no light whatsoever, but you will hear labored breathing from the farthest corner. Do not move closer and do not speak. The only words that will not result in your death are, Who was the first to bring them together? Should you ask, you will hear a voice, neither male nor female, speaking in your mind. Soon it will give up on speech, and the images it creates in your mind will be horrifying. Do not scream, whatever you do for it will see this as a sign of weakness and end your existence in such a way that only the criminally insane could understand. If you weather its tale, you will notice that specks of light have appeared all throughout the room. A hiss will fill the room, and rise to the most horrific scream you will ever hear as each point of light explodes, lighting up the room. When the light dims, you will see the charred remains of the holder in the corner. Do not move in for a closer look. Dead snakes can still bite. At your feet you will find a small velvet bag. It contains a flawless crystal star. That star is object 63 or 538. If it is allowed to shine... Its light will drive all that see it mad.